What's up, everybody? It's your boy Bartholomew. We back day at the Stim 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 Day, and I'm doing my very first unboxing video. Well, I guess you could say unpackaging because this really ain't no box. Uh, let's get this bad boy started, by the way. This is a Smith & Wesson Extreme Ops knife that my homeboy gave to me. Uh, he bought it off of Amazon. Amazon making tons of money these days. Let's open this bad boy up and see what we got here. Take the first, close the knife. Close. Yeah. Let's see what we got in this package. Man. A book. Don't worry about the book because that ain't number one that's important right now. I know you're probably thinking, oh my god, Bart, you read? Yes, I do. And you're probably thinking, who reads books anymore? I do. The reason why is because I highlight stuff. And just in case any of my children ever want to pick up a book, they can go through it and see what their daddy was thinking at the time. Now. Dun, dun, dun. Ah. Take flight. I didn't know that was the name of the company. Oh, I'm just over here buying stuff and didn't even know the name of the company. We're going to close this knife back up. We go. Get rid of that shit. Take flight. Take flight. What's in here is some ice cubes. Man, I'm over here trying to open this damn thing. That didn't work. There we go. I'm actually not going to close this knife back up. We're going to do it that way. Alright. Eh, interesting little box. Oh shoot. I just opened everything up. Hey. I love how they tell you how to clean these ice cubes. And stuff. Ooh, did y'all see that? By the way, I love this thing. There's my little decanter. I bought that off of Amazon for about $76. Pretty dope. It took long in two days though. Chill in the freezer for two to three hours. Put in a glass. Duh. What else you gonna put it in? Two to three hours though, huh? Hmm. Let's look at that. <coughs> oh, this is fairly easy. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm having a hard time getting it out the box. There we go, it's out the box. Bam. Oh, shoot. Oh, this is pretty cool. When I can get it all the way out. Hmm, let's see here. Comes in a little plastic thing. I could use this as, like, an actual uh, tray there. So, as you can see, it's a six shooter. Bow, bow, bow. I don't know what type of rounds these are, but they big. Look at that. That's pretty cool. They sit up pretty pretty big too. That's a pretty big ice cube. Yeah. They got a little take flight thing on the side of them. That's actually pretty interesting too. Now, if the revolver portion moved on the inside, that'd be big too. So again, this part is very plastic. I ain't even gonna front. It's plastic. But I mean, you're just sticking it in the freezer. Ah uh, shit. It doesn't say anything about whether or not you stick this part in the freezer, but I am. Uh, if it breaks, it breaks. However, these things actually got some pretty good weight to them. Eh, I hope that the, the gold or whatever that is does not. Hmm. I hope it don't come off because I don't want to be drinking that. But it's got some weight. See, it's got some pretty good weight there. Eh, it's already cold as it is, so I wonder what it's definitely going to be like after two, three hours. I don't like it how you gotta take them out though. They kind of get stuck there. See? Uh, let's try. Yeah, they keep getting stuck right there. So I wonder what's in there. Why do they get stuck? I don't see anything. Yeah, I really don't see anything. Huh. Anyway. Pretty excited about giving this a try. I really actually am. Huh. Let's see how this goes. Let's see if drinking whiskey with bullets in your glass make it taste any better. Yes, sir. I think it will. But so let's go try it though. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm back. Put some lotion on my hands because dang, y'all did not tell me that I was ashy. Good Lord Jesus. Got a little condensation on them. I don't know if you guys see that at all, but pretty interesting that they got condensation on them. Um, let's give this a twirl. Let's see how this actually works. So, whoa, oh, still stuck, still stuck. So, like I said, that's an issue. One bullet. I said, let's go to two bullets. I think we should go with two bullets. Two bullets. 
And before we actually fill these bad boys up, let's see how they sound in the cup. All right. Huh. I figured that they'd be clanking around, so that ain't that bad. Hmm. All right, let's see how this works. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this on YouTube, but we're going to do it anyways because actually you got to see how the product actually works out. So, wow. Now, what I've learned is with ice cubes and whatnot, it leaves like a little film inside the glass. I don't know if anybody else has experienced that, so let's swirl this around, see if there's any film. No. What I do like is that it actually does not water down the, uh, the whiskey. By the way, this is Devil's River whiskey. It's about $28.99 a bottle, depending on where you get it from. There's bottles that go up to about $42. It's pretty smooth. It's a whiskey bourbon, so fairly well. And if y'all see, I'm just looking in the, the glass to see uh, what's going on there. Like I said, I'm making sure that the, there's no film or anything, which is pretty, yeah, it's actually pretty dope. No film, no nothing. I'm just holding it good. Now, let's see if this shit takes... I can't actually say it. I'm going to start saying it. Let's see if this shit tastes good. Yeah. Tastes like whiskey. Whiskey didn't get cold, though. Not cold at all. That's interesting. Still no film, though. I'm actually pretty, pretty excited about the no film thing. But I'm pretty depressed because it's not cold. <laughs> It didn't get cold at all. So today, work as ice cubes, not at all. It's a pretty good show. I think so. It looks pretty cool looking down in the glass with two bullets. It makes you feel real manly. So I like that part. But I don't like that it did not get cold. It doesn't get a meh because it works. It works in the aspect that it doesn't water down your whiskey. It works in the aspect that it is a very good uh, aesthetic. It's aesthetically pleasing. It looks pretty nice looking in the glass. I'm pretty sure if somebody saw you drinking whiskey with bullets in it, that'd be pretty dope for them. The only thing that I'm a little, like I said, disappointed about is I didn't get the whiskey cold at all. I'm going to try it one more time. Nothing. Oh. So I do like the fact that it doesn't clink around like that in the glass. You would think that it would clink. So, so you go for a drink, set it back down. It actually fits very well inside this particular glass. I don't want to try it with another glass because this is my whiskey drinking glass, but it fits well in the glass. And like I said, it doesn't clink. Oh, I'll give you that. So overall, I was like, I'll clap it up one time for it. Let's give a... What's it called? Top flight? What was it called? Take flight. Huh? Take flight. Take flight. We'll give them a, a prominent review there. Definitely will and try it again if anybody wants to ever come over and try it with me. Cheers. See you guys later.